Hello everyone, you are welcome to Best Notes Tutorial. Today we are going to talk about beat generation. Beat generation, this movement started in New York and uh, this was a postmodern literary moment. As you can see here, the time period or time span of this movement was late 1940s to mid 1960s. And four, four key founders were Allen Ginsberg, Jack Kerouac, William Burroughs and Lucien Carr. If you are visiting my channel first time, you must know that at 7.30 p.m. shop, you get everyday uh, English literature class. So you can join every day at 7.30 this channel. Next one, uh, this movement was inspired by Romanticism, Transcendentalism, Bohemianism and Modernism stream of consciousness uh, technique they chose from Modernist uh, works. And uh, as I always uh, tell you that any moment is inspired by some other things or any and it it is most of the uh, moments in English literature are reaction to some other moments. Okay, or any other uh, method of writing. So you, if you are, mm, uh, we can say if you are studying any moment, just keep in mind that uh, it's uh, it is reaction of something else and you should know because it will make your understanding better of English literature. Now let's come to the characteristics. Uh, rebellion against traditional values. Let me tell you that where do we find these characteristics? Simple answer is works. So if you are studying, what will uh, what will be the benefit of uh, studying all these char uh, characteristics? If you are studying beat generation and you know all these characteristics, definitely you will understand, you will have better understanding of the work and you will remember that for forever or for long uh, longer period of time because as a student of english literature we have to mug up or we have to understand a lot of facts so first is a rebellion against traditional values interest in american and eastern mythology use of stream of consciousness as i just told you emphasis on uh, personal and free thinking free thinking romanticism interest in jazz rhythms and generalized rejection of academic formalism so this was very important that was generalized rejection of academic formalism now let's come to the next part here a stream of consciousness examples if you uh, see here jack carrier on the road so here is an example from this work on the road it got published in 1957 it seemed like a matter of minute when we began rolling in the foothills before Oakland and suddenly reached a height and saw stressed out ahead of us the fabulous white city of Francisco on the road by Jack Kerouac and uh, hopefully you know uh, what is stream of consciousness it is simply uh, you know a technique where a writer writes down his uh, you know uh, the thoughts in a sequence or you can say he keeps on writing whatever comes in his mind so that time jack Kerouac was typing okay he was not writing and he was typing that uh, this pace and uh, he described lots of things in a row so that was a stream of consciousness technique and you will find this in modernism a lot of time uh, most of time important writers of uh, this time jack Kerouac, as you know jack uh, Kerouac. Yeah, you see Jack Carew and he was born in French Canadian family his first novel was the town and the city and on the road it was autobiographical work this was the town and the city this novel got published in 1950 and on the road as we just uh, you know discussed in previous um, slide here yeah. okay we just discussed this one uh, on the road autobiographical work and known for stream of consciousness the dharma bombs 1958 it was a novel and uh, subterraneans subterraneans okay 1958 and dr Sachs, uh 1959 and the book of uh, blue it is blue let me write down it here okay book of blue 1995 uh, Allen Ginsberg, next one, he was born in 1926, uh, Ginsberg and Burrow, uh, Burrow, whatever you pronounce it, 
uh, openly identified uh, identified as uh, homosexual and LGBTQ themes in their works, and their works uh, are Howl 1956 highly controversial because uh, the police there uh, considered that obscene work, but later it was denied by court itself. And uh, he is known for coining a word anti-war mantra, and the, the mantra was flower power. Okay, so you should remember this. This was, this is important for you. Themes of uh, themes they chose to write uh, down their works like drugs, sex, homosexuality, travel, war, politics, death, and uh, green. Greenwich Village and San Francisco spirituality and finally music. So thank you, uh, thank you for watching uh, the complete video. If you are watching till here, and uh, if you need PDF notes and video courses, you can contact me on this number. This is my WhatsApp number, and as you know, my name is Kaushik. And you can contact on this number. We can discuss there. See you soon in next video. Till then, goodbye. Take care.